Oh, what is up guys, Extreme Designs here bringing another tutorial for you. So today we're going to make um, an app icon like this, like for iOS 7. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is higher than iOS 7 because we, actually I don't even know if we have this color palette. Um, so you want to go to this website and it helps you a lot with like daily designer resources. It's, it's, where is it? um oh yeah by the way um my mac shut down while i was doing this so it's a recovered so not properly repaired for this tutorial but what you want to do is want to go to one works is his website and he has fa fabulous designer resources to um yeah design an app so where is the color palette here is the color palette so you want to drag this down this is the color palettes for ios plus and this is why I used to make this and yeah so we just want to shrink it down a little we can hide that while we're doing it so yeah it's pretty cool and um, yeah that's the color palette and um, what else do we need um, okay okay so you want to go to this website it is on one works's um, website uh, here it is um, icon monster and I will put all these links down below so you can um, check it out and also you want to find out the Apple fonts you need so you need a Lucia Grande and um, this is for Mac OS X users or something like that and um, you want to use Hele I don't even know how to pronounce that but yeah that's the um, name of it or you can use a bitmap bitmap font called chicago or the macintosh gui i don't really know this but um this is like the fonts that you may need and if you want to go to his website you um and you need if you want more tutorials like how to um design in like interface of the like ipad stuff then i will i will do if you just like comment down below request a few th things and yeah and um if you need any more tutorials comment down below so here is all the elements etc we need and um yeah okay so let's go ahead to the tutorial all right so now you want to open a new file and it has to be um a thousand by a thousand pixels but i think i will put everything down below because we have um there's this designer and i think he knows better than me i don't know I, i'll just i'll just put in the comment down below so you want to unlock your layer all zero and what else do we need okay so you want to type in simple line icons i can't remember where i downloaded these from but um if you type in sim simple line icons um you uh, you'll probably come up with them and um here they are but i don't really know. I forgot i think it's this one but i forgot where i downloaded them from <laughs> so um well you need a screenshot from anywhere basically and um and maybe icons from here and these are fantastic so you can use these and yeah oops i just crossed that off i really don't need that okay so a thousand by a thousand this is like gonna be a layer where we um hide stuff etc so i explained everything you need so but i'm just gonna duplicate this because i can really can't be bothered to um get it back you know so where is i'm gonna put that put that next okay put that next to Oh, what am I doing? Yes. Nah. Uh, oh, God. What have I done here? Yeah. Um, I really, I just really want to put it next to this. Yeah, there you go. So you want to keep hiding this. Also, we need, um, a screenshot, which I already have ready. Here we go just as a reference for the gradients we need or so or something like that but um we have these vibrant colors we need these and yeah we're just gonna go ahead 
um okay so i have these in my notes so oh, um what you want to do is um when i tell um, i'm just gonna like make the shape and you just want to knock them down really so what you want to do is go to your uh what is this a rounded rectangle tool down here and you want to um put the stroke to nothing and you want to put the fill to white and you want to put a transparent background on so we can see our um our shape so you just want to hold shift drag it from the left top left corner all the way down and yeah okay so what you want to do is hide your color palette and you, um this is where you um you need the measurements so i don't really want to show my designing work around here so being as the document is a thousand by a thousand we want to do 950 enter by 950 pixels and it's it's kind of filling the page really and then you want the uh, radius about one f i think it is 140 uh it's not 140 um where is it oh wait i think we have to redraw the yeah okay so now we have drawn the um well we've done done the radius um it's got a rounded like circle thing if you know what i mean and um yeah that's that's how we, that's what the radius is for so if you bump up the radius like to let's say 500 i don't know if it'll let me <coughs> and um yeah it turns it into a circle um yeah that's how you do it so you want the radius to what was it again 140 and then just draw your circle out and then you want to do the width by height 950 by 950 yeah and um you want uh, you want to center it in the middle accurately so what you want to do is you want to click the arrow tool here and you want to click select or command a to select all the layers and um you want to click this this here which is ver align vertical centers and it says centers it there and then you want to click this one here and it puts it right in the middle as you can see and yeah that's yeah that's <laughs> pre how you do it so um what else do we need to do all right so now we want to use our color palette to um add a gradient so add this to the top and okay so the gradient i want i don't want to use the same green that you know what i mean we want i want to use let's say okay um first we want to choose our icon um so let's choose our icon because we need the appropriate color for our icons like what that app is based on so um by the way these icons are made entirely out of pixels i think i think they are you know yeah they are they're made entirely by pixel art and um you won't have no trouble in well having them pixels because it's made like, it's entirely out of pixels which is pretty good okay so we've got like stuff like snapchat dropbox but we want to like have our own ideas um by the way if you show you guys um it's like that it's pretty annoying and i just don't like that but yeah um okay so what shall i use i really like that fire one but i don't know what to name it but i think i'm just gonna use it and call it uh smoky actually i'll call this I'll, I'll just get a fly one a flying something the plain one 
you want to duplicate this to over here so we've got our plain thing but we want to hide that and we want to use our gradients so you want to make that new layer create a clipping mask and you want to get your gradient tool open the gradient out I mean like we, I have many gradient packs opened here and these yeah but we want to make our own gradient so I want you to choose the darkest here so this one and then use the lightest here and then click OK I'm not gonna bother saving the gradient cuz yeah uh, oh wait sick alright so we want to go to new guide and you want to click 50% on vertical and then you want to click new guide and then 50% on horizontal this is where we will just draw our gradient right in the middle uh, just like so holding shift because if you don't if you don't click shift you're like you can just go anywhere like this we want you don't want a gradient like that I mean like you could you could like that because if we look on our screenshots somewhere around somewhere around here yeah there are gradients like that but we want a gradient straight up the middle okay so you want to hold shift along that line there you go so that's by using our color palette and then you will just don't want to show your guide and then add your plane to it so we want um a a color overlay we want this white and um we want to enlarge this uh okay we'll just enlarge it by the way this is made out entirely of pixels and if you select off it you, you probably see there's a stroke stroke to it but there's not so yeah okay so we want to make this a bit slightly smaller you can choose your proportion and then we will align it into center we could do this now so <coughs> There you go, right in the center. That's pretty nice, but um, yeah, it's pretty simple. And then you want to get your font out. So we want to use Helectoria New or something like that. So uh, yeah. And then we want a white overlay to this, and we, um, we'll we'll name it we'll name it um, Flymo. That's a company name, but yeah, we'll just go along with it. Flymo, uh, Fly Me, yeah, Fly Me. Is that right? We don't have to add text we could just leave it like that but we'll just add text because I just want to yeah we'll just add text um, I'm having oh wait a sec let's move that back fly me okay that sounds that okay shrink it then we want okay I can notice a slight mistake here okay uh. maybe the um, symbol could do a bit smaller By the way, knowing your shortcuts is very good. Yeah, just just know your shortcuts really. Okay, deselect. Um, and 
wait where's my guides show guides we wanna wanna put that text right in the center now okay now that is I think done let's move the plane up a bit text up a bit okay that's pretty pretty nice um but I'm just using this as a reference okay that's I think that's okay now what you want to do is add a drop shadow shadow on it because every app has a drop shadow on it so we want the size okay oh I, f I forgot <laughs> um 15831 okay so you want the opacity wait distance 15 and you want the size about 8 you just want to experiment with this wait this was about 65 was it uh and don't slip all right and then what you want to do wait let me just see if that's right it's 31 let's see right now okay that's perfect you can only see like slightly of the um um <laughs> drop shadow yeah that's it and what you want to do is put your background on see why it looks like a white on a white background and then what you want to do you want to right click around here and you want to click around there and you want to see what it looks like on a white background and go all the way like just see what it looks like on a um what is it Oh, it's cold. So, yeah, I think that is perfect enough. And this is a tutorial, so it won't be that much perfect. But yeah, that's how you make an app. So, um, yeah, that's it really. And um, hope you enjoyed this, guys. And um, comment for any more tutorials, and I will bring more tutorials and so we want to go to the um save a web and you want to save it as 500 times 500 500 times 500 because i think that is the height and width for the um yeah, app thing yeah so you want to click preview and there you go if when you click preview it'll load up on the web and i think that looks pretty clean so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial extreme designs yeah peace out